So job yangu ya kwanza ilikuwa ni job yenye client aliniambia unajua hii kitu wanafanya hii kwa interior design. Ah interior design eh. Ah but hii ni TV tu interior design unajua ni laja nini kuweka gypsum nini sijui ah si unajua unajifundisha huko kazi pia unifanyie. Kama ah ndaona na kwa sasa hii kuna TV stand nataka unitengenezea hapa. <laughs> Kivi stand kama hizo kama hiyo ndio eh kwa vile nilikuwa na passion kwa ngoa sema hii hii kitu naweza tengeneza hii kwa sure hii kitu naweza tengeneza client yale alikuwa ameniandika kwa mtandao in fact aliniandika kwa builders wakati builders wanataka kuipost wakanipigia simu na haya nimeona kuna client amesema hivi hivi hebu eh nini hebu jitete nikajitetea kila kitu nikamwambia tafoto ndio hizi kila kitu hiyo ni nature ni mother nature imefanya hizo vitu ni rust si si eti ni mimi nimemwekea vitu ambavyo ni substandard Unaona? So nikaanza kufeel kwamba Mombasa itaniharibia ita kazi kama hii mosi yake iko hivi. So nikasema nikichukua project ya Mombasa is going handle is going vitu ambazo zinaweza corrode. Ni mm-hmm. kwamba ni interior all through lakini kitu yenye na corrode mm-hmm. nikaanza kuogopa. So then ndio nikaanza kupata kazi ya up country. So nikaanza kufuata my interior design wa SA, wa Nigeria, wa Kenya. Yaani mimi hata nione interior design ameanza leo tu. Na nimeona pale ameni friend request hapo. Mi umfollow, umfollow. Because i creativity na kuanga not tu inakuwa bald na wale watu wako juu inakuanga bald hata na watu wangu wa mkoa in fact there was a job nilipatanga runda by then sikuwa nimenoa gari nimeenda hiyo project ya runda alafu kwa gate pale soja kapika simu kuna jamaa hapa hebu mwambie kuja kwa kamera akaongea hiyo watu ako na means gani ombe anaona ako na miguu cause nilikuja na bike nikashuka pale hawa ako na miguu eh let him in So ika kwani kaomba soja kanembe fika pale pika lane 7 benda 43 and paka kwa hiyo site. Leo nikafika hiyo site client anambia nishakuona. Siri sija kuona nimekuona nimekupigia research lakini wewe umekuja hapa na boda. Na hii project yangu nataka kupatia 20 million. Will you be able to handle this man? Why? You can't handle this man. Don't trust the process. One day your life is gonna change. Keep on believing. Hey guys, welcome to today's episode of Inspire Global. My name is Lynn Gugi. Happy New Year my people. Happy New Year. And I've said guys, you know, we are going to be very intentional with this platform this year because we got to grow. We have to grow together. Hakuna excuse. And that's why Inspire Global is dear to my heart because you are able to watch someone's story and you are able to be inspired. Na utoke hapo na useme wacha niache upuzi sasa by the way. Let me go after my dream as well and when i tell you my guest today has gone through it all he has worked so many jobs i almost lost count when he was telling me about them when i tell you he has lost a deal simply because a 20 million deal simply because he did not have a car but that was a motivation for him to be able to get out there and say you know what that is the past this is the present i'm going to push myself when i tell you he's one of the biggest interior designers we have in the country right now right now hiyo jina ni jina kubwa sahi kijana msafi interior he's doing it look at his projects left right and center and this is happening right here at home with one of us who decided ni sawa mimi sijaenda uni lakini i will not give up on my dreams na pia nikipata hizi jobs zingine kando kando i'm going to do them the best way i know how knowing one day my star nyota yangu lazima itashine and now look at him a man doing incredible things at the heart of our country you are about to listen to his story guys and you are going to be super inspired but even before i can take you through that story a girl has to pay a couple of bills here but not even before i thank our official partners of this show kings developers limited moiz and the team you've worked the journey with us the whole of last year you guys you, you trusted our platform and right now even as 
much as I want to tell people about your apartments, the beautiful amenities. I just want to say thank you so much for be believing in LNN. So my people, continue supporting Kings Developers Limited. If you are looking for an apartment, you are looking to own a home, visit them. Pale Prism Towers, a fifth floor. Ongea now wambi Elina Mekutuma. They have flexible payment plans. You guys can own apartment at any place. Eh? Kwa sababu, beizao zinalingana na penye uko mfukoni na pia usijiskume sana. And of course, to say thank you to my incredible team. Hapa ni kona muga na skola na Robert asanteni sana. And even the guys who are at uko nyuma ya LNN for always making sure that we continue impacting you one story at a time. This is the part now you take your pen. Ata joy meniambia lin maliza intro sawa. This is the time you take your pen, you take your notebook and you and Ika easy lessons uh, than you are about to listen to on today's episode of Inspire Global. Poleni sana, homa imeamua lakini kazi lazima yendele, sindia? Happy New Year. Happy New Year, you too. How are you? I'm fine. Karibu sana kwa Asante Inspire sana. Global. Thank you. When do you not fungulia mwaka? Na New nikuwa nesema hii mwaka lazima <laughs> tuku inspired, <laughs> lakini hivu inji introduce kwa my people. Gabriel mm. Ongeri Mwendwa is my name. Yes. Jina niya kikisi. Anyway, tuwache ayo. Nilizaliwa kisi. Mm. Keroka eh, ama. Not Keroka, eh. kisi town, Bosongo. Oh. Okay. In the main sasa penye simba rati ya nawika. Alright. And uh, nikaenda shule Jogo Primary School. Later on, nika mazia shule ngini ito Sakawa. Mm. So it was a private school. All from there, nika qualify. Nika ito a, a giant school in Kisi called Cardinal Otunga High School. I know that Most one. Socho. <laughs> so that's why it became my high school journey. Nika piga baka Form 4. Kamaliza Vizuri. However, si kupata opportunity ya kwenda university. Mm -hmm. I don't want to mention my grade. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We are inspiring people with the truth. Uh -huh. Siku fanikiwa kuenda university. Yeah. Na mm, from there nika, nika anza kazi za vibarua. So kazi yangu ya kwanza likuwa fanya nili, nili, lisha, nili, empl, nikuwa employed kupasua kuni. Asata na hotel in Kisi. But they were paying me weekly. So nika graduate kutoka hapo. Nika anza kufanya kazi ya ya ngombe mm -hmm. yeah there was a guy mwen, the same same guy from the hotel ndiye alinemploy nikafanya kazi ya kumlishia ngombe mm -hmm. though ngombe zilikuwa za grade zilo grazing mm -hmm. si zile za kuwanda yeah so from there uh, there was shemeji yangu mwenye amewa sister yangu mkubwa alikuwa plumber okay kabla tu turudi hapa mm -hmm. kidogo mm -hmm. very important mm -hmm. umemaliza high school yes 2005 uja graduate si kwenda university uni yeah your part there are a lot of people wana struggle mm -hmm. nayo mm -hmm. in life mm -hmm. your part Uli deal aje na yuki ya kili? Okay, um, wajua Kadi Nolotunga is a giant school. By then it was a giant school and hapa uh, tatasai. Mm. So kuto qualify kwenda university ilikuwa, ili raise a lot of concern. Because hata watu kwa village onembia you are in a good school. But uh, uku qualify kwenda university. Angalia saa unenda TV eto, unataka kwenda kuna shule ndo pale G18 ndi unaenda. So mimi siku angalia hivo. Because nilikuwa na passion sana ya acting. Wazazi walikuwa mm. nasema. Wazazi, okay. we were in a middle uh, class family. Mm -hmm. Na wazazi, personally my mbuyu, alifil kwa mbali west pesa sana. Yeah. Mbuyu alifil kwa mbali west pesa sana sana. Because by then we were paying a lot of money. Na wanaona ilikuwa ni provincial by then. Mm. So, but, uh, ata, ata sometimes I pull my ease support kunipeleka college. So, si kufanikiwa ata kuenda college pia after the high school. So nikaanza kufight from there. Nilikuanga na penaga drama sana. Even in high school, ukiulize anybody mwenye alikuwa kani notunga. From 202 to even 210. Hakuna mtu wakona nijua. Mm. Nikuwa napenda sana drama. Nikuwa napenda sana uh, mambo ya comedy. Mm -hmm. In fact, I tried comedy. Ntaguzia nta, nta yo party kifika. So nika feel kwa mba sahi because sijapata opportunity ya kuenda university. Na a couple of my friends wenye tulikuwa the same pool walienda university. So nika feel ni kisleki in the village, ndawachwa. So nika anza kufight immediately. So that's why shemeji yangu ambaya mewa sister yangu mkubwa, he was a plumber, professional plumber. Mm. So waka tayabi unonaji kazi, uneza jaribu, eh. so waka kwa kinipeleka. Tunafanya mambo ya plumbing na kuwa mtu wake wa mkono. So that was my first job. So mambo ya plumbing na kuwa nimeiva mbaa sana. Uh -huh. Lakini sasa kwa vile do ilikuwa kidogo, sometimes tunaenda, sometimes hakuna kazi. 
So nika feel ile time ni sina ajaniita squad naenda nafanya kazi ya mjengo. So from there nikaanza kufanya kazi ya mjengo, mjengo nikakuwa so aggressive sana. Nikakuja nikaenda kwa foreman kwa sites zenye zilikuwa kisi. Mm. Unaona mtu akikuwa aggressive sana hata foreman anaona eh wewe ama tukiasainiwa kazi na pata ninafanya na passion na faster na maliza. Ndio naambianga mm-hmm. watu mnaweza kupata kwa rende <laughs> mko watu kama wa tisa yeah. ama wa kumi. Mm-hmm. Lakini usipolan kuku unajituma hata mwenyako hapo juu hata waiona utakanga tu hivi mpole 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 mm-hmm. na hata waijua people Ukweli. love watu wenye wako na hiyo passion na aggressiveness. Sasa ikafika mahali mm-hmm. kuna site tulikuwa tumefanya ilikuwa watu kulikuwa mafundi kama 15 watu wa mkono kama watu nane. Mm-hmm. So ikawa Hao watu walikuwa nataka tubangaize yani tusifanye kazi ishe ndio tukae hiyo site for a couple of time so ikawa mimi ni kwa aggressive sana fundi huyu hata jamaa ameassignwa mtu wa mkono watu wawili fundi wawili mtu mmoja so ikawa mimi ni kwa aggressive mpaka na savu wangu na para nimesimama sababu ako well satisfied na bid tena na savu wao wengine so hao jamaa wa mkono akaniambia huyu jamaa kesho ukikuonekana kwa hiyo site hiyo tutakutandika baza because wali feel kwamba na ni threat yani mimi ni kwa aggressive kuwashinda na tunalipwa by then tulikuwa nalipwa 300 bob. So kasivyo feel hapana. So wakanipangia. Wakanipangia kwamba huyu jamaa tunamtandika sana kesho asikuje hiyo site. Kesho yake asikuje hiyo site. Oh. No. Niliofia maisha yangu nikasema that is it. So from there nika nikajiunga na group flani. There was a group yenye ilikuwa ina acting set books. Kisi. Kwa anaitwa New Star Productions. So that group nikajiunga na hiyo group. Hiyo group ilitokana na maboys wenye tusoma nao kadi kuja watu kama watano tukasema kuna group nyingi za kwa set books hapa chini lakini si tulikuwa high school kwa drama mbona tusiunde group yetu hapa tukakuwa na like minded guys watu sita tukakuja on board tuka invite wengine tuko kwa 14 tuka form group inaitwa new star productions so tulikuwa na perform set books all over the country sana sana tulikuwa perform kisi mm. kericho na south nyanza sana na na, na kakamega mm-hmm. so tukaanza kuperform hizo set books kwa perform hizo set books ikafika mahali kwamba wanataka tukue na more market tupate tu, tulete on board jamaa mwenye na market naenda kwa shule na pitch na market na na source for shows mm-hmm. na nasema nani kwa aggressive hapa sana nasema nani zajitolea kwa uh, au market haya nikajitolea by then si kwa phone number my current phone number nilibaiwa na group kanaambia sasa kwa vile wewe ndio kwa aggressive wewe ndio unaenda kwa market market yetu From there nika take role ya marketing. Uh-huh. Nikaanza ku market hiyo group naenda na outsource shows, tunakuja tuka perform. Ivo ivo ivo. So nikafika mahali eh, two of the guys kwa hiyo group wakasema wanapata wamepata greener pasture wanataka kwenda outside the country. From there wakatoka wawili wakatoka mmoja kaenda China uh-huh. na mwingine akaenda in the US, uh-huh. mwingine tena kaenda India. Uh-huh. So au ndio alikuwa co-main hata kwa zile set kuna alikuwa na act au ndio alikuwa eh, mimi ni kwa main cast na au pia wako kwa roles zile ambazo ni big. Mm. So group tukaona hizi kwa sustainable, tuka to hiyo group watu wakatoka tukavunja hiyo group. That is when nilisema kwa vile niko kisi peke yangu na kuna kazi nyingine nafanya, let me look for options. Ikakuja kwamba zangalewa dancers wakakuja kisi ku perform. Kwa vile mimi nilikuwa aggressive na nilikuwa mtu napenda vitu kama hizo, nika approach jamaa fulani aitwa Libaki. Kama approach kamwambia nimefile kitu mnafanya ni fiti na mimi ni dancer na niko na passion ya acting na nini naweza wa join kanambia i'll give you a call after two weeks hivi akanipigia kanambia tafuta vijana wawili kisi hapo wenye uko unajua kukataa vinu vizuri nikuje <laughs> mimi ni dancer ni vile tu sahihi nimeka mbona unajituki ni venye niko na homa sasa kuongea mbona sikushuku so from there akaniita Ah, uh, can I believe I'm comfortable moving to Nairobi? Akaniambia yes. Akaniambia the moment that wendi kulipia nyumba lakini tawatafutia nyumba. So akatafutia atatafutia akatafutia nyumba Madhare. Hey. Yes. So Madhare era for ni meshi place ni to Gyandururu hapo. So akasema nini tafuteni bedding zenu, mimi nitawapatia job opportunity lakini mtafute place ya kulala. Bora tuko Nairobi. Bora tuko Nairobi. Nani huyo? Mimi ndio jiji. Kaingia jiji, tukatafuta nyumba. Tulikuwa nalipa 1200 ya mabati na tulikuwa three of us so kama mattress nini beddings tukaanza life up 1200 na stima tulikuwa tunalipa 300 hizi stima za madhara tunazielewa yes. so that's why niliingia Nairobi sasa tukakuwa tuna act tuna dance nafikiri umeona zangaleo mm. i think i'll share photos yes. ya zangaleo yes. so nimekuwa dancer zangaleo Nairobi sana tukaza marot show marot show hivyo mm. ikafika mahali mm. yenye hatuna show kuna kampani inaitwa EXP Momentum 
so company ikikuwa ikakuwa ilikuwa ilikuwa hiyo kampuni kwa hapi ilikuwa museum hill by then ilikuwa tafuta ma mc wa kufanya ma road show na ma activation Nairobi ah nikasema kwa vile mimi ni MC na najua hii si nene ni jaribu nikajaribu then niko zangalewa lakini nikajaribu EXP nikachukuliwa so nikakuwa MC wa hiyo kampuni wa ma road show nini nishafanya sana hata Chris Kirwa is a good friend of mine ananijua oh, good man that yes yeah so akanichukua nikakuwa MC kwa hiyo kampuni tunapiga ma road show ikafika mahali hiyo kampuni ikakuwa sometimes hatuna show sometimes tuko na show sometimes hatuna activation sometimes tuko system of food soldiers kwa hiyo kampuni so ikawa planet theater kuna company ndio planet theater ikakuwa inafanya auditions na itaka ma actor mimi ni nani tena nikaenda pale tena auditions nikapenya nikachukuliwa na hiyo kampuni So nika act, hakuna place siji kwenda hapa Centro za kina ma eco girls nini zote tulienda hizo mashule zote kwa acceptable because nilikuwa na passion ya acting so tukakuwa tuna act hizo ma set book na act hizo ma set book ma act ma set books ikafika mahali tidy high nataka extras wale watu wanapitanga kwa nyuma ndioonesha hii ni shule <laughs> eh iko na wanafunzi wakina oje wa kingara mbele pale si tuko pale tuna round unaona wanataka auditions ya ma extras mimi ni nani nikaenda pale tena auditions nikapenya tena nikachukua na kampuni ya extra tuliacting kama episode 23 niko na footages na photos mm. tena from there tukatoka hapo so episode ya nne nikaenda audition sikuchukuliwa waka drop akasema nataka new faces mm. so by then kulikuwa na uh, na, na kampuni inaitwa top line marketing iko hapa ili, ilikuwa nataka merchandisers na wakasema kuna auditions pale wanataka machanda merchandisers najua kilikuwa Nairobi uko desperate unatafuta kazi mbaya sana wakasema ah merchandising eh ni kampuni ya nini eh merchandising ni ndo kapika research nikaja oh sawa tukaenda auditions wakati tuenda auditions pale ndio nikachukuliwa sasa kama merchandiser so akaniweka kwa tier 1 supermarkets nilikuwa natembelea Nakumat wow. ni Naivas tunafanya uh, product yetu ilikuwa Nestle mm. Nestle eh ilikuwa Nestle food sisi za kina Milo Nescafe Serac hizo servita so nikakuwa merchandiser na wameneka route ya Dhika Road yes so nikahama wapi madhari nilikuwa nimetoka madhari then nikahamia Isili Saint Teresa sapo then from there wakati nilipata job nikasema wacha niende Dhika Road penye at least niomoke kidogo nikahamia kaawa wendani so kaawa wendani wakati nilihamia hapo sasa ni wakaanza kuwa na hiyo kampuni so tumeingia sa marketing kabisa yes. so nikafanya nayo kampuni nikafanya nayo kampuni kama miaka mbili tatu mm, ikawa hiyo kampuni inataka project manager nataka no team leader kataka team leader na wao team leader aenda wapi Mombasa so wale watu ambao walikuwa top sana ni mimi na jamaa kama wawili watatu uh-huh. so ikawa huyu jamaa mwenye alikuwa qualify after mimi alikuwa na watoto yeah. na wote wako kwa shule Nairobi mm-hmm. na familia yake iko Nairobi so ikakuwa difficult kuhamisha mimi familia yangu ilikuwa kisi so akaniambia can you relocate to Mombasa and uh, we we'll lead team huko mimi nani <sighs> kaenda interview nikapenya that's when you locate from Mombasa sikuishi Mombasa at all so kanipatia some money niende ni fanye recognizes ni 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 nitafute ni, niende ni, ni tafute nyumba ni move kwenda kwa sasa ku lead team ya ya Nestle Mombasa nikaenda Mombasa that's when nipa nilianza kuishi mshomoroni because your place nilipata ilikuwa well, well off so nikaanza nikaza ku lead your team coast region So team ilikuwa Coast Region kuna team nyingine ilikuwa Lamu Malindi ambaye ni Kilifi sasa kwa sasa kuna team ilikuwa Taita Taveta Kilifi na Mombasa sasa nikaanza ku lead team so hapo ndo ni lead your team ambayo ikafika company ika nika lose job the way ni lose job ilikuwa ni marketing agency yenye ilikuwa licha ya kupatiwa docket ya ya ya, 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 ya Nestle ya ku manage merchandise wana uh, man products za Nestle pia boss alikuwa ananipatia kazi nyingine za kando zenye ziko na my docket. Mm. So ikawa nafanya hizi kazi nyingine za kando zilikuwa za za product za Riglis. So ikawa sasa kuna siku boss wamekuja nini Nairobi, Mombasa kuja ile custom tu outlet tuone kazi iko wapi. Wakanipata na product za hiyo kampuni nyingine. Kuisha conflict of Kuisha interest. conflict of interest. So boss ndiye ajitetee vizuri akasema huyu kijana mimi sijui. Mi kazi nimempatia ni huyu kijana sijui. Akakutoka. Yes, akanitoka. The next day nilikuwa nime lose job. Yeah so wakati ni lose job nilikuwa vile nilikuwa aggressive sana project manager alikuwa na maning kutoka Nairobi yes eh, ni msichana fulani alikuwa anaitwa Galinet so akaniambia hata kama umechujwa kuna makampani najua ukienda sasa hivi utapata job kaniambia pigie jamaa fulani hivi hivi insight management 
akampani pia wanafanya mambo na merchandise utapenya mm. nikawapigia kanaambia sasa hii hatuna job lakini kuna Philip East Africa inatafuta yes. sales rep mm. inatafuta sales rep mmoja anaweza manage coast region unaweza kuwa interested eh uko fit eh si already hizo kampuni zote nilikuanga na mabarua mabarua mm. nini all through na unajua ukikuwa ukikuwa sales rep unajua game vile inaenda ikafika mahali kanaambia oya kuna interview imetokea hapa ya Philips inataka ku introduce renewable energy Kenya na sasa tunatafuta mtu ambaye ataman coast mm. region. Uko unajua ku drive? Yes. Uko fit nini? Yes, nikaenda. Na already ile company Insight ndio ilikuwa ina managing some of the nini some of the nini project ya Nestle. So alikuwa anajua vizuri. Mm. So nikaanza pale interview nikapita, nikapatiwa job. Kaanza kufanya job sasa coast region under renewable energy. Mm. Tukafanya, tukafanya so for some time. Eh nika transfer, nikakuwa transfer kutoka hapo kuja uh, Narok nikakaa kinaro kidogo tena wakasema nirudi Mombasa nilikaa kwa hiyo sana mm. sasa wakati nimerudi Mombasa eh tukakaa some time hiyo kampuni ikasema their business is not doing well they want to move their headquarter from Kenya to SA so wakasema wata ku drop ya renewable energy lighting inafanya fiti health inafanya fiti lakini energy ya solar haifanyi fiti unaona so ikawa hiyo kampuni ataka ku drop lakini kwa vile ilikuwa tume sign contract na nini kila kitu wakati compensate kila kitu na tuka dropiwa mm. kampuni ka ika shelve ikatoka ika Kenya mm. so by then ilikuwa napenda kuangalia nga vitu for example na nikuja kwako niona hata vile tv mmountiwa kwa some of my friends naona tv kama iko hivi na sema hii tv mbona mbona iko hivi mbona ismountiwe hivi so one of my friend ambaye sasa alikuwa ni merchandiser mwenye nilikuwa na, na team lead aka ni invite kwa kiko kulikuwa na bash ya mtoto so birthday iko kesho kan invite kama leo mm-hmm. so nikafika kwake eh, ile sasa ile preparation kan ni bana hata kuna mtu alikuja kan mount TV sio hajamaliza hata nini mm-hmm. nikipata mtu animount TV iko fit hivi nitafurahi sana ndio unamlipa pesa ngapi 1500 1500 mount TV yeah hata kuna kati na alikuja ni ke nini tu agree kata moja 1500 na oh uta hivyo hivyo unaweza hii kitu ya macho hii nitaweza <laughs> Hiki <laughs> tu macho ndio mzabai kama unaweza nitakupatia odo kata ndo ziko sita <laughs> na nitakupatia odo nasema eh basi kama kumbe hiki tu naweza hii i had some money nikaenda nikanua drill nikanua some tools nasema hapa inahitaji drill inahitaji screwdriver ya star screwdriver ya flat nini vitu zote nikachukua pia screw wall plugs nasema hizo zote ziko sawa kana nikamnunulia bracket tao nikamnunulia bracket kama tao nikamuzia 15 nikakuja kanipatia hiyo job nikamount hiyo tv yake fiti nilikuwa na speed level kama mount hiyo cotton road yake fit because ni kitu yenye nilikuwa passion kwamba hii kitu sina mount wa hivi unafanya hivi hivyo hivyo bas kama mount ya he paid me that money nikasema kai vile nilikuwa hai don't leave kumbe hii hii kitu iko na do hii nasema sawa eh but then sikujua kama ni interior design sawa sawa bas sasa from there nikasema sasa nataza kujima kuji brand kama kijana msafi initially nilikuwa anga wakati nilikuwa na hiyo kampuni nilikuwa na Philips East Africa nilikuwa nimesema wacha nitafute side hustle. Sasa wakatafuta side hustle, wife akaniambia hiyo kampuni nataka ku register, ku register na jina ngambia sijui. Sijui. Lakini vile una kwanga msafi hivi. Vile una kwanga msafi hivi nini nyumba iko sisi utafute tu hata hata si ujita hata kijana msafi. Ah, that is the name. We are going with that. Nika register kijana msafi. Mm-hmm. Nikaenda ku search advantage akona mtu alikuwa na name Orini nilikuwa na majina zingine tatu kwa nilikuwa kusata na ambia kuja na majina tatu hizi kuna majina moja. So nikazaje na majina zingine mbili tatu. But hizo uh, majina zingine tatu nikaziweka eh, kijana msafi ilikuwa namba 1 hizo majina zingine mbili tatu. Eh. Nikalipa pesa kwa kasati kusema hata tusiende mbali jina msafi mpatikana iko sawa eh. you can register this. So nika register kijana msafi enterprises. Nikaanza kufungua duka ya shop. Sasa yeye nilikuwa kijana msafi enterprises. Ya sasa wife ndiye na man na mimi naendelea professional Uh, TV mounting lakini like, wanajita kijana msafi. Sikuweka interior design. Mm. So nikaanza hiyo kumount kijana msafi, kijana msafi Mombasa. I don't think kama kuna mtu Mombasa anajui kama professional TV mounting, cable management, curtain, hivyo hivyo. So job yangu ya kwanza ilikuwa ni job yenye client aliniambia, unajua hiki kitu wanafanya iko under interior design. My interior design eh? Ah but sisi si ni TV 20 design unajua ni laja nini kuweka gypsum nini sijua ah, si unajua unajifundisha huko kazi pia unifanyie sema ah ndaona na kwa sasa hii kuna TV stand nataka unitengenezea <laughs> TV stand kama hizo kama hiyo ba eh mm. kwa vile nilikuwa na passion kwa ngoa sema hii hii kitu unaweza tengeneza hii 
Kwa sure hii kitu inaweza tengeneza. But then kwa vile siku na mafundi kulikuwa na kampuni ilikuwa imebobea sana Mombasa Interior Design. Nikawa approach nikamwambia niko na hii project. How much will you charge you? Will you charge me? Nikaaniambia hiyo project tutakucha 30k. No, 30k kuntengeneze hivi ya. Lakini ndio mlitengeneze mimi mimi ndo direct. Kujini na expert wenu lakini mimi ndo direct. Sidhani kama mta deliver hiyo kitu. Eh. Mimi ndo nitawa direct na niwa onyeshe kila mta vile mta deliver. Mm. Kwa sema 30k sawa. Nikamwambia client 40k. Tuka agree nikakuja ndio nikawa direct. Yes. Initially nilikuwa naona kwa watu wakifanya TV stand wanafanya TV sana unapata mawaya zinaninginia. Na si nimetoka kufanya uh-huh. professional TV mounting. Uh-huh. So nilikuwa naikanga trunking hapo. But kwa vile ukiona tuka trunking hapo haionekani mo professional. Yes. Nikamwambia ndio hii kitu mfanye first of all. Tutaweka socket juu penye tuta mount TV, socket iko on top of it. Iingie kwa TV, aerial iko on top of it, iingie kwa TV. Yaani tukimount TV hapo no wires. Na hapa chini client akija kuweka decoder nini hapa chini kuna kutoka kwa TV kuna coordination ya hapa HDMI optical cable kuna coordination ya kuja hapa mnaweza fanya hivyo atufanya hivyo sisi tunamwambia hii job amwezi pata mnaweza nifanyie hivyo because i want kitu iko neat safi basi akasema hatuwezi fanya lakini sasa itabidi tuongeze ndio government taongeza ndio taongeza ndio nitawa direct mm. so nikaongeza ndio nikawa direct so ndio nikazanga unaona Kenya nimefanya pale hakuna wai itaninginia pale ni case client akuja kuweka sijui ni area wire hiyo hiyo wire imetoka imeenda juu itatoka ingie kwa TV. Mm. Yaani una tutu TV pale no dangling wires zenye ziko sijui aje hivyo hivyo. Tukafanya hiyo project ya kwanza ikaisha successful hata mdozo wake kampuni anaambia si unajua tufanya nkifu. Si unaweka ng trunk hivi. Hii ni hii ni kitu poa. Hii ni kitu poa sana ngombe. <laughs> Kuja ufanye kampuni na kwa job company yangu. Kwa vile nilikuwa nimeona potential na nilikuwa nime scout hiyo kampuni yake nikaona afanye vitu the right mm. way. Ya kwa sababu vitu mingi nilikuwa na imbo na kufanya hii imbo na kufanya hii kasema kwacha ni push hii brand yangu so nikaanza ku push hiyo brand lakini sana nilikuwa najiita kijana msafi sikuwa nimeanza ku push as kijana msafi interior design nikapata project ambayo ilikuwa ni kubwa so that project sikuwa nime prepare contract so client akaniambia nataka unifanyie kazi ya interior finishing of a house ilikuwa ni hiyo project ilikuwa kwale taita taveta na client alikuwa msomaji So it was a mega project. Hiyo ndio project yangu ya kwanza yenye ilikuwa above million plus. Unaona? Kwa vile ilikuwa ni mega project na sikuwa na capacity. Yeah. Nikasema hii project capacity yangu onye haiko imefika hata mita. Mm-hmm. So nikasema hii project wacha ni invite someone on board mwenye ako na financial muscles ndio tu push nae. Nae. So nika invite ile company interior design yenye imebobea Mombasa. I don't want to mention it because of my stuck kwa Arabia mm-hmm. brand yao. Mm-hmm. So nikamwambia niko na project na hiyo project iko worth 3.8 million. So kwa vile sina capacity I want to partner. Mimi nitakuja kama creative, mini designer lakini mimi ndo tawa direct everything yetu nafanya. So ile company ikafanya mistake we didn't sign the contract. Tuka agree na word of mouth. Unaona? Tukakaa tu agree na word of mouth ikafika mahali tuko karibu kumaliza kazi client akakataa na almost a meter. Fanya kile mnataka. Fanya kile mnataka mimi kazi yangu mimi siwataki tena mimi fanya kile mnataka mtalipe kwa wapi alikuwa kidogo ni client ambaye yako ni high profile sasa ni high profile eh, eh, kwa le county so eh, tuka lose hiyo pesa na ilikuwa ilikuwa close ku, ku, kwa faida yetu na eh, tulikuwa tugawa na 50 unaona so from then nikasema hii company ambaye ni professional hivi haina contracts na mimi kwa vile ndio nimekuwa kwa game sana ndio nisijaanza kusaidi siku deal kubwa kubwa deals kwa hapa tanazo za 50 mm. 20 40 60 mm. hawa na contract unaona so tukaluzi hiyo business so nikasema kwa vile sasa hakuna haja nitegemea mtu let me go full force let me prepare my contracts let me sasa toka kijana msafi niende kijana msafi interior design nianze kushika kazi zangu na nianze ku direct team yangu By then hata nilikuwa na team wengi walikuwa Swahili wa Giriama, wengine walikuwa wachonyi wapi. Mm. Hawakupenda sana ati nikipata kazi upside outside Mombasa, wasema unaenda wapi kazi? Bara. Bara ah mwanangu haiwezi bana. Bara. Uko ni Sisi mbali. Sisi Mombasa nini? Uko mbali mwanangu. Ukipata Mombasa nini mambo yetu njoo fanya. <laughs> Lakini ukinda bara ah, asiiwezi. So sikuwa ni build team yenye neza direct. Ilikuwa ile team liko nao wengi ni Waswahili na nikifanya kazi ilikuwa mostly na waman sana na wengi wa Swahili walikuwa Islam ikifika tu kwa dini tu Allah kazi imeisha mm. hata kama simiti ilikuwa imekoroga kwamba mwanangu kazi imeosikia mwa dini unaenda kuswali sisi so ikabidi sasa niseme because hawa watu wamesumbua sana 
I want to at least to build a team that is outside Mombasa. Build a team in mm-hmm. outside Mombasa wenye tunaweza agree na, 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 na passion. So tukirudi nyuma kidogo, hii interior design nimejifundisha sana na passion. Research ambayo nilikuwa napiga social media, nikaanza kufuata watu ambao tayari wamebobea kwenye game, unaona? Kupiga research amefanyaje kitu au better can I be able to do it, unaona? All the way. So nikaanza kujibrand kijana msafi interior design. Nikaanza kuchukua project za Mombasa. So project za Mombasa eh hiyo moja yenye to lose mm. yenye contract tatu kwa tumesign, tulikuwa tume agree verbally. Mm. Nikasema sa next project tunaenda kufanya lazima tuandikiane kabini tafute wakili tuandikiane legal kwamba hii project tume agree this amount of money mm. this is the deposit mm. kufikia hii stage utanipatia do nyingine kufikia hii stage do nyingine ndio sai kwe legal nikapata project pia uh, place neto majaoni so this project ilikuwa tufanye entire interior design unaona no, ya yeah, entire nyumba so ikawa uh, tume sign contract tume agree client alikuwa within to Mombasa tume agree tukafanya project successfully mpaka tukaimaliza lakini hatukuwa tumeanza kujimarket sana but mimi nilikuwa na shoot na simu na post kwa YouTube so ukiona video zangu za kitambo uh-huh. hata clarity yake na picha si professional but nilikuwa naweka tu ile ring light nasimama pale mimi ndo najipiga action na songa nyuma <laughs> na edit baadaye na jikat na songa pale na kata kamera hivyo hivyo na kuja na edit na cap cut then nilikuwa tumeanza kile master uh-huh. na edit na kile master na post So hizo videos kaanza kuenda. Videos kaanza kuenda. Watu wakaanza kunitia project all through. Hii project na baadaye tufanye Mombasa nirejelee ikawa tumetumia items ambazo as well with standrust. Unaona? As well with standrust. Mombasa unajua kuna unyevu, kuna nini. So items kama handles kaanza ku rust, runners za drawers zikaanza ku rust. Huyu customer akanianika kwa mtandao. Unaona? Akanipiga bad review pale. But nikamwambia hii project unaona kenye tumetumia na this is Mombasa na staff clan ni mustanaka kazi alikuwa na panguzanga sana maji ya chumvi panguza vitu zikaanza ku rust handles zikaanza ku rust runners zikaanza ku rust unaona nika feel hii market ya Mombasa hata kuna tap nilikuwa nimeno expensive sana pia ikaanza ku rust unaona ukani nilifanya consultancy sana ya kuhusu hizo products jamu fulani akaniambia Mombasa hata uweke hata tap ya 100000 bado itakorod unaona So kama unataka kufanya kitu successful Mombasa tumia aluminium. Tumia kama ni tapa aluminium, handle aluminium, unaona? Rana zikawa kuna aluminium. Unaona? So nikaanza kukopa nasema sasa nikifanya project nyingine tena na hii ni Mombasa Zirast. So una client yale alikuwa ameniandika kwa mtandao. Fact alianiandika kwa builders. Wakati builders wanataka kuipost wakanipigia simu na haya, nimeona kuna client amesema hivi hivi. Hebu eh nini hebu jitetee nikatetea kila kitu nikamwambia ta photo ndio hizi kila kitu hiyo ni nature ni mother nature imefanya hizo vitu zimerust mm. si si eti ni mimi nimeweka mm. vitu ambazo ni sub, substandard mm. unaona so nikaanza ku feel kwamba Mombasa itaniharibia ita kazi kama hii mosi yake iko hivi so nikasema nikichukua project ya Mombasa isikuwe na handle isikuwe na vitu ambazo zinaweza corrode mm. ni kama ni interior all through lakini kitu yenye na corrode nikaanza kuogopa so then ndio nikaanza kupata kazi ya up country unaona nilikaza kaanza kupata kazi ya up country kama hii first job ilikuwa ya Nyamira. Mm. So ndio client akanipigia, niambia unafanya kazi outside Mombasa? Yes. Nafanya kazi outside Mombasa. Na kwa vile nilikuwa passion sana vijana wangu wakasema sisi kama ni nje ya Mombasa, mwanangu sisi hatuwezi enda kabisa. So suna ile bini build from scratch. Mm. So ikabidi niende back home. Wale vijana ambao tulikuwa nafanya kazi na mjengo, nikaenda nikachukua shemejeni kwaambia mambo ya ushemeji weka kando wewe ulikuwa professional plumber sana na juu unaweza deliver kenye nataka kindly wacha mambo ya nini nini hii ni kazi nakupa tuende kuna project niko nayo but to deliver to my standards akakubali so tena nikatafuta kuna kijana mmoja alikuwa pia mason mzuri tu alikuwa foreman mm. kaambia boss unaona zile plaster tunapiga eh mimi nataka kona kama ni square square uikuja na kijana first of all aike tools zake chini boss kama una kabiro kama una square kama nini hakuna job hata ukwe mkali aje so nikaanza ku build team hivyo akakuja akakuwa akakuja na vijana sita wengine hawako na square akaniambia oya tu buy hizi tools hizi ni wakali lakini utukate kwa mshahara nikaobaya so nika build team ya mason work yeye za piga plaster to detail up to today walikuwa hapa kwa hiyo project yao wow. so hivyo hivyo so ikawa wakati umefika kwa kwa, kwa tile work niliwa yenda kuna company fulani Mombasa mm. i don't want to mention pia niliwa mm. impatia kazi ya tile work 
Lakini kwa vile mtu wangu hapo mkali walikuwa me subcontract another company ya kufanya tile work. So mimi wakati nataka kuangalia details because huo mnaangalia ngai vizuri. Yaani kama ni hivi mm. iko iko level kabisa. Mm-hmm. Kana kaangalia huyu jamaa nikamwambia oya hii kampuni inakulipa pesa ngapi kwa kazi? Ah, kawaida tu mtu wa mkono anamwambia I can pay you better than that. Mimi bana sikulipa sju day work. Nitakulipa pa square meter. Ukika square meter tu hivi. Ah, pesa ndio. Ukweli si day si day work. Square meter uki deliver to my excellence square meter na kulipa uko na watu wako wenye wanafanya this kind of job yes mm-hmm. ndio mimi ni interior design na company na grow lakini natafuta watu ambao ni perfect i'm ready to pay you ile pesa unataka lakini u deliver perfect lakini ukiniharibia kazi utanilipa mm. so tutakuwa na sign contract contract ndio kwa na sign contract hata iwe nini eh asa bata acha pana pana contract mm. this is business i'm paying you i'll sign a contract so nikawa na wasign contract hata na mason wangu na sign contract yes. all through so ndio maana unaona hii excellence ambayo nimefikia hapa it's a journey yenye nimetafuta nime build team sahihi kuna team of of almost 32 wako under me so kadri nimefika nikawaambia sa nitawa sign contract like nitaweka sarelet tawalipa mshahara yenye uende kazi usiende uko kwa package yes, of the uko na retainer uko na retainer you know? so sina security of tenor mm. because kesho utapata amenda kuingine kesho amenda kuingine so sasa hii ni bebe tu simu yangu nipigie one of my guy hata kama ako na kazi nyingine ya freelance mahali atawache hiyo kazi mm. you know? so hivyo hivyo ndio nika build ndio nikaanza kupata projects outside Mombasa nikaanza kufanya tuka sign contract with my clients na nikaanza kufanya through a lot of passion yeah. so nikao mtu wa mtandao sana kasema sijaona interior design company wakati TikTok ilikuja yenye inafanya vitu alafu ina explainia watu mbona tumefanya hivi kauliza jamaa fulani TikTok vile imekuja naona watu na dance tu hiyo ndio time aziada ume na watu na dance tu kweli watu watachukulia serious kwamba tuna post pa wazao twende nalo wakina aziada wa kidance wasema twende nao tuanze kupush push two views three views ama twende nalo iko siku Wacha hata mtu asione hata kama ni 10 views tuende nalo wow. our main goal tuko wasiangalia hapa uko iko siku so nikaanza ku post vitu social media nika explainia watu mbona nimefanya hivi na sijafanya hivi mm. unaona so watu kana pia tunajua napatia watu ideas ngawaambia unaona hii nyumba iko hivi ile timu yangu watu ukichukua they cannot deliver this kama siko because i'm directing them mimi ndio niko na concept i'm the vision card yes 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 hiyo timu yangu wana nikwambia masimu ndio wapigie they can't deliver this because i'm the vision behind so ikawa naanza ku post kwa social media watu wakaanza kuniambia oh unapatia watu wa ideas nikaanza kujiuliza unataka kuniambia everyone else is creative as i am hata nikipatia mtu ideas everyone else anaweza replicate hivi tu kasema let's see kama watu ni creative as i am mm, let's see twende na alo sasa so nikaanza ku post sana nika explainia watu mbona tumefanya hivi mbona hivi mbona hivi hivyo na market trends za interior design kama zimekuja on board hakuna kitu inanipita unaona because there was a company ilikuwa inaitwa gap marketing Nairobi nikifanya merchandising nilitaka kwenda pale sababu pay yao ilikuwa high lakini ni wakaniuliza swali ya current affairs by then unajua nikaloba so wakaniambia everything else umepita lakini umepot, ume, tumekosa kukuchukua because you are not updated to the current affairs unaona unafaa kuwe up to date new trends ni ngoma gani imetoka sahi na trend ni kitu gani sahi company fulani imefanya ni media gani na sahi na lazima uko updated yani unako so basi nikakwasa nikaloziyo job nikarudi tu hapa cause nilikuwa nilienda tu gap kufanya interview nilipata high rise lakini nikapoteza kazi sababu ya current affairs sawa nikawa daily nikiamka mapema sana mostly me the young inaanza kama 4 up alafu late pia na na mapenda ma, sana kulala mapema ndio na mke for nione game inaendeleaje ni nini ime change who is trending now unaona so that hiyo inanisaidia sana kwa creativity because hii industry iko na lot of creativity za kitu ikinipita sijui inanipitaje unaona because every day kuna new trends siju South Africa kuna kitu kimefanyika interior so nikaanza kufuata ma interior design wa SA wa Nigeria wa Kenya yani mimi hata nione interior design ameanza leo tu na nimeona pale ame ni friend request hapo mimi umfollow umfollow because e creativity na kuanga not tu inakuwa bald na wale watu wako juu inakuanga bald hata na watu wangu wa mkono iko siku wakati nilikuwa nafanya kama ETV star wakati nilikuwa naifanya 
Nilikuwa nasonga nyuma na angalia na simama na songa nyuma na angalia because ni design to directive. Eh mtu wangu amkona akasema unafikiria nini mwambie nataka ku design kitu hapa yenye haiko sana na haijakuwa copied sana. Kaniambia situtumie panel peke yake hapo. Na mtu wangu amkona situmie panel peke yake exactly. That is what I was thinking. Unaona? Na ni mtu wa mkono. Na mimi nilikuwa hapa na nasimama na piga hesabu kwamba nifanye nini, nafanya nini, una all through. So ikabidi nitume panel peke yake nikasema acha ni spice na hiyo linear light, mm. unaona? Wacha ni kio cabinet ndio iko kitu simple, unaona? And elegant. So hivyo hivyo ndio creativity yangu imekuwa bulk na kuna mtu ambaye anafanya interior in this Kenya in uh, Uganda, Tanzania ambaye sijui. Ambaye sifuati. Unaona? So hiyo ndio mimi build hiyo creativity yangu all through mpaka hapa mm. na ninakuwa na passion kufa kupona. Sikufanikiwa kupata papers za za za, za interior design so architect and interior design because tuna sikwenda nga high school na by then sikwenda college na by then nikataka kuingia lakini wakati nilipiga research yangu na hizi zile institution na nikaona zile packages wana offer nika feel niko way too much unaona yani nika feel ziko down niko niko sha songa nikasema sasa hata kama na fight niende kupata hii paper ndi at least ni brand kwamba ama CEO kijana msafi ndiye design these are my papers clients are not going to hire me because of the papers client wataona what can you be able to deliver so tangu nianze kufanya kazi hakuna client ameniambia kindly produce your papers hata mmoja wachache sana umeniambia where are your offices wachache sana unaona lakini kwa vile na move sahi to the next level hizo vitu zote nataka kuziweka in line mm. niweke an office mm. niweke team ni mm. hiyo team yangu yote sasa ikuwe ni kuna project manager creative mm. videographer all through ndio sasa nikianza ku move ina kuwa better mm. in fact there was a job nilipatanga runda by then sikuwa nimenoa gari nimeenda hiyo project ya runda alafu kwa gate pale soja kapika simu kuna jamaa hapa hebu mwambie kuja kwa kamera akaongea hiyo world ako na means gani ombe anaona ako na miguu cause nilikuja na bike nikashuka pale hawa ako na miguu eh let him in so ikakuwa ni kaomba soja kanambia fika pale pika lane 7 benda 43 and paka kwa hiyo site leo nikafika hiyo site client anambia nishakuona siri sija kuona nimekuona nimekupigia research lakini wewe umekuja hapa na boda na hii project yangu nataka kupatia 20 million Will you be able to handle this man? Why? You can't handle this man. Jana mtu aliniambia mm. yes. ni lini mm. juzi mm. a friend of mine <laughs> she does good easy ad <laughs> anaitwa Olinzia nita acha hata muwekeni kazi yake kidogo hapo <laughs> she does deco mm. na alikuwa ananipigia story mm. venye alibus job cause hakuwa na gari Bandu. Mtu alikuwa anataka kumpea job ya 7 million. Mm. Akamwambia siwezi ku trust na Bandu. pesa zangu. Mm. That's true. Kaniambia hii pesa nikikupa kitu ya kwanza najua naenda kununua gari. So I wish you all the best lakini your competitors won. My competitor won that job. I don't want to mention him but the best competitor won that job because nilimwona alianza ku update. You lost a job for yes. not having a car. Yes, because I sema I don't think whether you have the capacity ilikuwa ni passionate mega passionate do you think that's a good thing to kunyima mtu eh, kazi kuzana gari sasa inaona uko na gari but unaweza what do you think I, I don't think kama alikuwa genuine because alini judge vile nilikaa yes. <laughs> alini judge vile nilikaa lakini kamwambia yenyewe ataka mimi ni judge vile nimekuja kipo siku sina gari sasa hii lakini mimi ni mtu big sana So huyo client alikuja kwa best yangu but the competitor delivered excellence hata okay. na posting sana naona okay. So hiyo ni nafikiri kwangu alini judge vile niliapia because nilikuja tu na bike na bike iwezi ingia ronda aliambiwa huko nje nikaingia na miguu So wakati ni all through na mtek through ambe ideas zako ni fit uko fit ka nimekuwa hata vile umepicha hapo uko fit Lakini I don't think whether you have the capacity to handle 20 million no? because our project ilikuwa na range up almost kwa 26 27 28 kana bayo kana bagen so nika lose your job so hiyo kitu kaniuma sana so kana nilikuwa nafanya savings zangu na nini nilikuwa na work hard sana nikisema napanya piga research nipate gari yenye naweza ni raise your status because mtu akikuona tu sijui vile ni kwa hivyo anaona uja makuli anaweza unaona lakini like saangalia what can be able to deliver yes. so hiyo mm. so, pia ni setback moja nilipata sana 
ubatika ku motivate ubatika ni motivate sana ili ni motivate sana ili ni mot acha acha hiyo ili ni motivate sana sana ndio ni kwa hiyo gari nilikuwa nasema this is what i'm going for in fact and what of eight kwa nikasema okay kinya shins kiman so despite the fact that watu wanatujudge kwamba oh embara mamba embara mamba sasa hata watu itimoga katen embara mamba kina wajunya shiski ni mkisi Ah wajui ke RG the don ni mkisi. Ah alikuwa na chini na skati yake pale bro. Bia. But kuna kuna hiyo kuna hiyo mse anaweza fanya kitu but anaku lead to your blessing. Yes. Mtu anaweza kunyima job juu ya hii mm. but ajui ana add fuel yako yes. ya kukuwa motivated. Ukweli. Ukaangusha gari yako pia. Nikaona acha niangushe at mm. least ndio inipatie hiyo mileage because what yana hiyo image yo image ni ki sana mm. that's one that nikifanya kwa mtandao wanaji brand sana mm. but majority of the clients wenye wanataka wana, wana, wana kunipin kidogo wa confidence yangu iko na another level alafu tena what i can be able to deliver you cannot be able to deliver all this kama una confidence na una passion ya kitu unafanya unaona so uh, initially tena nilikuwa naenda anga free side visits kama sija build portfolio unaona nilikuwa naenda hivyo ndo nikisema kwamba i'm building a portfolio nilikuwa nataka hata client anipatie kazi nifanye hata cost nafikiri unaelewa yes. kama ka project na 3 million ni pige hata cost of 3 million lakini ni pige marketing ya 3 million ndio hii sitapata faida hata shilingi moja lakini nitakuwa nime build marketing ya 3 million unaona na several other clients mm. so nilikuwa na nanga free size visit napata natoka Mombasa na mpaka Kamega Busia Malaba Chavakali kwenda kuona sites lakini unaona at the end of the day unapata client ana kosa kunipa job So na nikaambia nikaanza kwambia client pay me 30k up front once we strike a deal at the end of the day uta redeem pale kwa quotation oh. once to agree kila kitu tume bargain baka tume agree kwamba ni, ni 100,000 kwa mfano ya project yako eh deposit ni utanipatia less 30k oh. unaona that's why nikaanza kwa attract client ambazo ni serious because some clients are going to me vibaya kama kuna project niliendanga uh, ili kuanga ni Eldoret ndani kidogo hiyo constitution inaitwaje uh-huh. ndio imepotea ilikuwa ni Eldoret akaenda pale free of charge ni naga free because nilisikia aliongea unajua client kizungu mingi yes. nikaona u client kweli ni serious wacha niende free of charge nikatafuta my own means ka travel all the way kafika late Eldoret katafuta place nikadoz kisha kan kama kan kaenda site unaona so u client nikampatia ideas kwa sababu si uwezi niita kwa nyumba yako ni kwe bubu ni nyamanze tu definitely nitaanza nitaanza ku point hapa yani nitaanza nitaziona tu because nimekuwa kwa industry naelewa game naanza ku point hapa 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 naweza kama kuna hapa unaona nikampata hizo ideas zote akaniambia nitakupigia simu do you know ai kumazata miezi mbili niliona a complete interior design amefanyao project na ideas zangu zote yeah ideas zangu zote vile nilikuwa mpea pale nikaziona ta nikaziona ta unaona So nika feel kwamba o client ameni use. Yes. Vibaya but sasa yeah. nikasema it's mm. okay. Mm. Nikaacha so nikaanza kusema sasa let me attract serious clients because there is a lot of information point here what our jury because this is my area of specialization. Mm. Mtu akinita definitely nita mu advice. Uh-huh. Na nikifanya kitu for free itakwaje? Yeah. If you're good at something you're don't good. do it for free. Don't do it for mm. so, don't do it for free. Eh, so nikasema Uh, evo 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 mbaka sahi penye nimefikia hapa mm. this is mega and i know yes. this is just one of your projects one of in the, one mm. of <laughs> by the way wase wana fawaju lini keep pending from november because of how busy I you've was been very busy. meaning mm. yani job umezipata yani god amecheza kaa yeye mm. and you are still here mm. every day you are keeping yourself up to you know mm-hmm. you unaji bring up to speed yes. na zile vitu zenye zina happen yeah. in the world yes. but ukijenga biashara kifamilia na kimwanaume uko aje kwa sometimes job inakuanga poor then mm-hmm. kuna parts of our lives mm-hmm. zina uko aje sasa at the moment uh, kifamilia kidogo mm-hmm. nime nime wadent kidogo mm-hmm. because hata nikikaclear the number of times naenda Mombasa ni kidogo kia ta familia kidogo umesema utupendi <laughs> 
but nawaambia we are building wealth generational wealth for the better tomorrow why Start is that in, important mm, mm. it is important sababu ya why am i looking for money just imagine nilikuwa naambia one of my friend vile nafanyia watu hivi i've never shared my home sijawahi share my own home imagine nimefanya nini huko so this is one way to inspire us to display the fact that company family ndio we are looking for money mm. we need better for our family yes I need uh, nini nikifanya watu kazi pia mimi nipate pay at the end of the day so I can be able to build generational wealth where my family yangu ikikuwa kama niko incapacitated they can be able to continue yes, na legacy continue. na legacy mm. na already nime inspire vijana ambaye na nime inspire na nimejenga vijana ambaye eh, saina train na wafundisha wamefungua company zao with that at when you make inspire na mm. so mostly uh, ana nitanga bazu baba mm. baba, baba yako mm. no because kama siezi naacha watu wengi hii akili yote niko nayo na hii creativity yote it's going to the drain because sasa kama 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 mtu hawezi kuja ni inspire that way ina kwa difficult because mm. napatanga calls mingi sana kutoka jquart ma students wa interior design wa kinyambia ni ile pale ni wa motivate lakini staki kwenda that direction sana because wajua nikiwa motivate ni mwambie kwamba si kupata barua ya related course hata institution itafeel aje mm. this guy is telling people that You, don't you, can you can do it. You don't need papers. Watoto wataacha shule. Wataacha shule. Eh, so ndio 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 motivate lakini atakukuja ku nini kupiga public speaking pale hapa. Eh. Yeah. Outside sawa kama unataka tacho sawa. Lakini like, na peer breakthrough za watu ni different. Yes. Your breakthrough ni different. Yes. Na yao there someone lazima ata need these papers. Yes. Yes. Path yangu si ye, not necessary mm. itakuwa path yako. Mm. Kila mtu kuna different destination, mm. different path, na pia inategemea passion yenu uko nayo. Good. Mm. I wanna tackle on a couple of things. Mm. Sikuwa nataka ku interrupt story mm. yako but ukisema mm. ulikuwa na act set books, mm. that a planet nime act. Oh. Nime act hapo Porsche ya Stockman vibaya sana <laughs> na maimuna na hizo <laughs> vitu zingine. <laughs> And there's a point nilikuwa na juliza in life. Hizi vitu zote nafanya ni za nini? Mm-hmm. Zitaenda hapo wapi? Mm. Na kuna wase sasa hii mtu mm. anaweza kuwa na watch hii mm. anapika kitchen mm. maybe hata hapa kuna tuktuk inabeba mchanga hapa nje mm. kuna mse mwingine ni watch hii kuna mse mwingine ni accountant pahali na wana feel yeah, si job naifanya but si easy passion yangu but nimekam ku realize hizo mm. vitu pia ni muhimu yes. cuz nikikuangalia you've worked more than 10 jobs yes to end up here hizo mm-hmm. jobs zote zimekusaidia na nini hiyo experience imekusaidia aje most of the time kuna watu walikuwa wananifuata initially hata nikiwa kwa hizo job na hizi job nimefanya zote sijui acting theater na nini zimeni inspire sana kwa creativity unajua kuna size size, size. mimi nilikuwa na act basanio mm. <laughs> ni, kuna siku nilikuwa kwa stage nikapoteza lines sasa hiyo creativity ya art itself ikafanya nikajitoka hiyo ngori wale wanafunzi walikuwa na macha to venice hapo wanafuata line by line unaona nika confuse na comedy kidogo kitambo acheka maliza nimeruka nimepata line tume flow yes. so hizo job zilinsaidia sana kujibuild ku build confidence ku build creative creativity na kuweza ku interact na watu because mm. tulikuwa na work na cast wengine hawana lines so inabidi wapate cue ndio wapate unaona so hizo job mimi nasema Yaani zili, zili nisaidia kufa kupona. Ziashimu. Uh, yes, zili build me. Zili build me more sana sababu unaona nilijua Nairobi, ndajua kuna kama za mashule za kina tumutumu tume arts, kina tengecha gas no. So zili nisaidia ku explore even Kenya hata sasa hiki lana gambia. Unajua mali fulani unaona iko ya ngombe, eh hey, iko unajua hata iko boss najua. Oh. So una inanisaidia kwamba oh fika hapa enda baka hapa, fika Meru, mm. enda baka Rare, mm. hivi fanya ni tembe Kenya, nione vitu Kenya. I love from this the build creativity. Mm. Unajua wakati exposure ili nisaidia sana because niliona vitu tofauti. Unaona wewe sasa kama ukiwa unaishi tu hapa peke yake, utakuwa unajua hii ndio roof. Hii hii roof ni kali. Uja kuja Mombasa, ujaenda Nyeri, ujaenda Mura, ujaenda wapi? So hiyo ili panua sana creativity wakati nikuja interior design hata napiga sema oh kuna nyumba fulani ile inanga mali fulani. Kile roof ile I'm going to do that. Unaona? Mm na pia zikanisaidia ku, 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 ku kwenda ku, kuja Nairobi siku singe 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 kuja Nairobi mm. alafu mm. wale watu wana kanga kuna mtu sahi ana watch maybe mm. na amesumbua wazazi mm. alimaliza form 4 mm. lakini mind yake iko lazima niingie uni mm. yani unaona ni course poingie hiyo uni unajidharau ama unajishukisha kidogo mm. ungetaka kuambia nini eh 
wajua uh, university tension kubwa ya kwenda big institution kama hizo ni kukufungua mind si ku prepare for the job market ni kukupanua ubongo ujuende pale kwanza ufanye ma writing kidogo usumbuane na watu wa web design pale mu interact na different uh, wanafunzi tofauti tofauti ndio wakupanue akili you see things in a different way unajua the way nilikuwa na high school see the same way nilikuwa wakati nilianza acting mm. ilikuwa imenipanua akili nikaona vitu from a dis- different perspective nikaanza kuwa creative kuona opportunities unaona yes. from different perspective. Mm. So now I encourage sana kama umepata opportunity ya kwenda university pursue that university uenda si watu wote wenye wanaenda up kwenda kufanya passion. Hata jamaa mwenye anafanya videography amesomea hiyo course. Unaona? Alikuwa mascom. Hata mm. kijana mwenye ananifanyia uh, architectural website design ni jamaa mwenye akoje kwa atamesomea hiyo nini. Unaona? So kuna watu ambao wataenda up kwa hiyo kwa, kwa hiyo field. Mm. Unaona? Alafu build passion as they grow because pesa ndio inakumotivate mm-hmm. na kuna wenye wataend up watu kama sisi mm-hmm. wenye to build uh, our capacity through passion na consistency mm-hmm. so mimi na encourage sana kama umepata opportunity waja kusema ati yo kijana msafi yo akwenda ujaribu utapiga kichwa kwangu kichi unaona ile passion na ile kupush unafikiri mara ngapi nimefail ndio nimefika hapa mm-hmm. unafikiri client alikuwa amenianika mara kwanza saidi best yangu basi ananifuata basi unaona na honesty because hizi kazi zote ukifanya for example unapata vijana wa saa hii wanataka oh kijana msafi anaendesha gari kubwa atakaye situendeshe hivyo oh kijana msafi yule ana address hivyo pia si address hivyo unaona inakuwa expensive sana mm. mtu anaona kwamba oh anataka kuruka step ya kwanza wewe ruka class 1 uko class 6 uko class 8 it is as baby steps hizi baby steps nimeme kidogo kidogo ndio zinimebilia hivyo mm. na ile creativity akuna anga msijui nikisikia kuna kuna sijui case si kuna conference sijui ya builders siko sangi sijui ni kuna show flani sijui creative teresa hata ile crazy tech nani ilikuwa because creativity wena kwa ngabal from all over hata ile setup na prop yenye umepiga pale mimi ufikiria aje kuja mali fikiria aje kuweka ile deco ya background huko aje ninge point ya design ninge part of opportunity ninge fanya different aje mm. unaona mm. So vitu kama hizo sikosi because there was na ni build sijui kuna builders zinafungua kare nilikuwa huko wakati kilonjiwa nione vitu tofauti wamefanyaje unaona kupana hiyo akili so vijana wetu wanataka kukaa tu wasema oh nishike mkono what napata dm yangu imejaa kufa kupona imejaa nishike mkono mimi ni fundi nishike tafadhali nataka kukua kama wewe you can't be me be yourself be your better self to build kama wewe waje kuna kijana fulani mwenye niliambia Eh, kuna niche fulani naona watu wataja itackle lakini naweza ku, 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 ku advise na naweza kumenta uingie hiyo field nasema ati hapana naanzaje hata simu sina poa sina hata fea kwenda kuondoza first of all una passion wewe utakuja kuwa burden kwa you know? itabidi nikutafutie hata ni itabidi na nikusaidie research google is your friend tiktok is your friend ana nilikuwa mwambia kama si lazima uende google nini study me as a lesson ama subject on its own ni study ni pasu sema huyu jamaa anataka kumsoma kabisa Pinterest is your friend Unaona kuna client anaambia nimeona picha yako Pinterest nikamwambia nafurahia hivyo because kuna watu watakopi hapa na opesi kwa Pinterest lakini kwa vile nimeona watu wameenda Pinterest sana tu oh, pia mimi niko na account Pinterest yes. so kuna vitu Uko ndani ya Pinterest uko <laughs> Pinterest Yes yes Nina posting hizi ziko hizi mm. ukiingia pale ziko ziko Uko ndani uko ndani Ndani uh-huh. sana Ntakosaje kwa uko mimi nani <laughs> Keep your, bring yourself up to speed yes. every day you have to be able to bring yourself up to speed yes. unajua nini lazima ni ni brief yes uh, singoje states ji uh, ni ni brief wewe kama preso mm. lazima ni brief nini me happen nini imefanya nini imefanya unajua kuna mtu sasa yule anaambia tu uliona kitu ilifanyikia mlamu ajui ajui kama mlamu ali pala today unaona hiyo ni mtu mwenye yuko Kenya anafaa pigwe viboko basa kwa hii creative industry inafaa uko up to date ni nini imefanyika creative ni nini which is the coming show kuna kushusha nyavu hapo watu wanaenda yani lazima hizo vitu hazinipiti kabisa mm. unaona leo na niwa mepost nini hivyo hata niende niangalie ni, 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 ni. so nafuata kazi za kochi nyama nashukuru mimi mimi nashukuru lazima lazima because mm. creativity na kwa bald that way si tunamka tu mara moja tu and sometimes people don't think interior design is part of creativity watu wanafikiri hivyo unafikiri hii ni kama ni play najua play imeanzia wapi najua nitaimalizia wapi so 
si eti ni kitu ati oh, na pa na yeah. ni kitu na ni, ni mm. kama ni movie mm. kuna mtu kuna mtu ataingilia hapa kuna nini nahitaji prop so interior design iko that mm-hmm. you always kwa na mind iko creative hivyo utapitwa sana utapitwa yes. sana mm. haya what is the greatest tulikuwa tunaongea mm. na tulikuwa tunaongea i think before tuanze mm-hmm. Msia anaweza jenga nyumba mm. like i feel like interior huwa anga imeignoreiwa mm. msia anadhani nyumba ni nje mm-hmm. ndani ukimkuotia anasema hiyo ndio pesa nilitumia kujenga nyumba. nitumie tena interior. what is the greatest assumption watu who make kuhusu interior design na unge advise aje sai watu wenye maybe mse yako pahali anajenga ama amenunua apartment anataka kuweka interior ungewaambia aje I think umefanya vizuri umekuja kwa hiyo topic. Mm. Kuna client alikuwa anataka kuchorewa nyumba na architect. Mwambie sasa nataka wewe ukuje on board wa assist huyo architect vile unaona una envision aje hiyo nyumba at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Wajua architect na makaratasi zake mingi na kizungu yake mingi tulikosa kuelewana because mimi nilikuwa naangalia vitu on a practical way. Yeye alikuwa anaingisha masomo mingi sana ndani. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So nikamwambia client wacha architect akuchorea akisha kuchorea kama mmeagree superstructure ajenge superstructure aeke roof asonge kando ni kuja on board because at the end of the day ilikuwa inakuanga sana mtu aniite from akianza kufikiria tu yani mtu akianza kufikiria tu kwamba anataka kujenga aniite Hmm. Nimsaidie kufikiria. Hivyo hmm. inakuwa rahisi kuliko at the end of the day unakuja tunaitwa makeover na mwambie client tuta knock you all down sababu ya 1 2 3 4 of which your wall ninge knock down kwa drawing. Hmm. Unaona? Ndio at the end of the day tukuje na hii sababu eh, creativity wa inatakanga ni, ni, ni kuje mapema hii interior design wanataka ni kuje mapema sana. Wale client wanataka incorporate wa niite ni kuje nisaidie oh. architect wake ku envision oh. I'm okay. But at the moment team yangu ni kuna architect tena wabaya sana wenye ni wa young kama mimi na nawapatia direction na chora the right thing. Oh. Kuna vitu ambavyo nimechora nimejenga I'll be able to post this year nimesema size hizo tunaanza kuangazia zaidi. Oh sababu nikikuja later stage wewe inakuanga na ina nini convenience in fact na project hizo zingine naenda client ashaenda mbali kaambia ah ungelijua tungefanya 1 2 3 ungelijua tungea void ungelijua unaona so inabidi naanza tena electrical adjustment plumbing adjustment you know na ni expensive na uri ashalipa plumb you know na kabla plumb wangu ni mzuri mbasi kata hii plumb wako ni mzuri lakini kuna vile ina kuna vile ina five floor Ojo electrician nange jo kwamba ile soke na faingi mm. katikati ile ni pam mm, mm. ama ingia hapa hivi ama ikuwe hapo unaona kitu kama ile tumefanya pale electrician na wezi jo ni plumber hizi jo kwamba ina fight nitakuja kuweka this thing ya anapiga tu akijua ni normal hand wash basin zile za mtaa so stage yenye client anafaa niite sana kasa hii hata kabla hajaanza kufikiria hapo ndo msaidia kufikiria vibaza because the, yes bas hiyo conception mm because sasa hii kuna idea mingi zimekuja this traditional way of roofing sasa hizi imechange tumeenda kama flat roof no so na hizo client wengi hawana information no sasa hii client akitaka kutafuta hata kwa mtandao hata ndio watu wame post lakini hana information kwamba ndio deliver hii ni cheap affordable house ama ni expensive ama what have you missed mm. no mm. so hapo sasa ni wanataka ku focus this year at least kuchanua client sana kwamba this is kuna precursors zimekuja sasa hii mm. ina ina save cost at what level ukifanya hivyo na save to what level ukituita mapema una save to what level hivyo 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 yeah. ni job iko na profit yes of course iko na margins vizuri na iko na profits kwa. yeah mm. at the end of the kama umejipanga na umepika financial management yako fit account yako itakuwa fit yes Mungu anasaidia. Mungu anasaidia. <laughs> Mungu anasaidia <laughs> lakini lazima sahi ufuate vitu kama contract strategy yes hizo vitu zote yes. lazima sau incorporate kwa biashara yes, yako. Yes, yes. Okay. Mm. Haya. What would you say ni the three greatest lessons mm. umelearn kwa job yako mm. ama three greatest advice mm-hmm. unaweza patia mtu yoyote ana watch. Ile kitu ambayo nimelearn kwa nini hii kazi yangu sana mpaka nimefika hapa kitu the greatest thing ambayo imenisaidia ni extreme consistency. Mm. Extreme consistency usikuwe leo kesho umechoka mbona unachoka mbona unachoka alafu kitu kingine pia ni kuchanua clans through marketing if you cannot be able to tell the world what you are capable of nana ungenijua wapi ungenijua no hiyo marketing na the same time passion mm. kama una passion kwa game wewe songa kando songa yeah. songa because kama hiyo passion pekee ndio imenifikisha hapa nikiongeza na hizi vitu mbili na discipline 
ungekomefika hapa mm. na same time pia financial management inasaidia kidogo because mimi nimeona interior designer mwenye anakuwa excited na million mtu akipatiwa alikuwa ame quotes juu kwa ya Scotland ama mpate pesa anakuwa excited ana financial management always juu kama anaweza manager aje pesa itoke hapa anatoa hii pesa unapata for example ile ya project wana alikula kamaliza anatoa hii pesa akimaliza hii project na akimaliza hii project unaona the same same clients ambao wame ni build wenye sahi clients akiuliza kwa mtandao i'm looking for a professional interior designer kindly tag one i'm reading the comments watu wanani tag moja wenye hata sijui mm. so they've been seeing what i'm capable of and all to so unaona kama sio consistency ni kwa hapa from two views yes to thousands of views uno waambie <laughs> man discipline na discipline na discipline yeah. pia lazima msaya kuwe na ile discipline haya lessons mbili umelani eh lessons mbili nimelani kwa hiyo mm. ni kwamba uh, trust not all clients should, should trust mm. kama si contract ningekuwa okay. client wengine wamenitandika tatu bila mm. kama hizo 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 contracts zenye yeah. na sign na tuna agree client wangu amenipiga sana mm. kitu kingine tena ni speed among interior designer wote mimi na kuangana speed hii project ni deliver na 2 months na nilikuwa nataka ata nipige one and a half month yeah. unaona yeah. so kulikuwa na speed and accuracy mm. because ndio utapata kuna mtu anaweza deliver this lakini na deliver na 6 months my best ule mwenye na, na look upon ange deliver na nilimuuliza kaniambia yeye ange deliver na 6 months so your speed and accuracy inanipatia hapa hand mm. because kama nime deliver na 2 months na nilichelewa sana nilichelewa sana no mm. hata ile kwata kuipiga one and half a month nimeua nimeenda mm. project nyingine next mm. na capacity building una sign ime build capacity where by na uwezo wa ku hold four project at a go the fifth one is chukui siku ina tamaa kama tume agree hapa mm. kwamba this project tumesha agree na tume seal deal project nyingine inipigie simu kesho kuna 20 million na tume seal deal hii never ever acha tamaa yes. ai siwezi mm. yani tume seal deal na huyu alafu mtu anapepa at afu sijui ni ruke nianze ile nianze hii mm. haiwezekani kabisa mm. so ni discipline hiyo mm-hmm. yeah. na tamaa si tu wonder sasa kuna pesa mingi huko atuache ukuje hapa never ever mm. no unataka kuacha legacy gani nataka kuacha legacy kwamba you can uh, move from grass to grace nataka kuacha legacy kwamba licha ya kukua sikupata opportunity ya kuwa pia front front uh, camera ya tidy eye na kina abeli nilikuwa behind the scene so au my legend niko mm. namba zao wananitambua mm. so nataka kuacha legacy kwamba you can build a company because sahi penye niko nasonga na mbele na yani najiona mbali za hii mwaka ikisha nitakuwa niko branding yangu nataka kuipiga nimeshafanya kwa company za marketing nilikuwa naona vile watu walikuwa wako detailed na umeandika barua ukitumia font ambayo si yao kampuni yao una lob yani font unaona yani kampuni nasema if you must write a letter lazima utumie company font watu wengi wajui hizo vitu so hiyo marketing nataka kuipiga marketing mm. moja mwenda wazimu na the same time watu wengi wanaogopa kwamba oh ha sijui Ruto ataanza kumfuata at the moment one na comply fully KRA ni pigizi mwambie oh vipi lakini eh mnanitaka lakini <laughs> jojo jina yangu ndio hii account ndio mm, hii mm. nalipa ushuru yeah so sitaki kuogopa kwamba ati oh nitakosa kulipa Ruto ama nini why am i fearing kulipa Ruto 10 million na nataka kufaida faida ya 100 million chukua blue chukua 30 eh, kile mwisho wa mwezi ule mm. madam mwenye nimeka na nimonitia risi zangu zote chi na file hata ND ya nimefile yes. no yani yeah, clean kitu, clean mm. ndio hata serikali niambie oya kujeni because najua itafika it, sasa hii wanaanza kunitafuta mm. rambia kujeni bana kujeni ninapatia record zangu angalie clean hivyo hivyo na sitaki kuingilia mambo ya siasa because staki ku, ku, ku cross kwenda mm. kwa siasa nini mm. but on mm. that note yeah. wase wengi wanasema life sa hii ni hard sana wase wanaweza maneuver aji solutions already ni hard hiyo ni ukweli hata sitaki kuuliza kaa kwako ni hard life mm. ni hard kweli mm. but mentally ume maneuver aji eh, life ni hard sana mentally ile kitu nime maneuver sana hata timu yangu hiyo unaona niko na watu 32 mm. nimewalipa timely unaona nimewalipa timely sana yani niko na 
ni kuna statement za standing order where mm. bike ifika tarehe moja tu titi walipo washalipo mm. no. na wewe mm. nini imekukeep mm. focus <laughs> in the midst ya hii hii energy yenye iko hii reality ya venye vitu ziko hard we mind yako nini na kukeep ukiwa focused na unaweza advise watu waje ile kitu inanibidi ni mm. nime ni keep ni kwa focused hapo ni ni, 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 ni kuanguka nirudi kwa poverty hiyo more poverty na ni motivate mbaza nikianguka tu nirudi kwa poverty no ita sita hata wale watu na inspire wenye wanifuata chini ya maji hawataka kuniongelesha hata mm. feel kwamba kumbe jamaa alikuwa anajifanya because watu wengi wanataka wanguke ndio wakuchekelee no? so wa daily wa yani yani nakuanga daily tu ni, ni, ni ku invent new idea naweza fanya hii naweza fanya hii naweza fanya because sahi ni kushua kuna clans mmoja mimi nipigia akasema in fact i wanted to import an interior designer from south africa mm. but i changed the mind when i looked at your job asema ai kumbe kenya kuna watu wabaya lakini Kenya kuna watu wabaya. Where have you been? Where have been on social media? Mm. Where you go updated na current affair? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Uh, yes. So, hiyo nataka at least uh, kufika mahali pia naweza inspire hao watu ambao au mind designer wanakuja kutoka chini mm. kufanya kitu differently. Good. Yeah. Si eti lazima tufanye sio white tiles. Mm. Should think differently, be creative differently. Ndio niche yako yako ikuwe na utafauti fulani. Because I'm competing with a, a couple of companies and you wanafanya vitu ambazo naona zijafika standard mm. naona bado mimi ndio naingia sako hiyo level sasa mm. no. mm. so nataka in fact hakuna kitu poa kama sako angalia kama the best companies are snitching on me na shindo kamba ah kwani mimi ni mbaya aje mpaka hii kampuni kubwa ina nimeona umenichunguza uh-huh. kampuni ya mwangalia profile yes. nini so nuna na inspire watu wengi in one or the other mm. kwa through this interior design and na fanya this is my area of jurisdiction yes <laughs> So kama yes. unataka kulano wakuja attachment. Kuja attachment. Yeah. Lipia no, tu lipia attachment. Tu. <laughs> <laughs> lipia tu attachment. Uh, uh, But congratulations. Well, thank you so You've much. You've done good. Yes. So very proud of you. Mm. This for me is also an inspiration for mm. myself. Yeah. Tamini nilisema sikwa isiwe sipeani knowledge buri. Free. Free the sea. Siko ubaya lakini mm. kuna mm. place inafikanga. Mm mtu kana anataka kuonyeshana ako serious mm-hmm. show some commitment Ukwele. and i love that at least you, you've been able to inspire people na story yako Ukwele. na umeonyesha watu mm-hmm. si sitangi sitaki kusema ati kuna haja ya makaratasi mm-hmm. but it's also it's true yes. sengine ukimiss an opportunity it doesn't mean your life is over it doesn't define you it doesn't define mm-hmm. you chukua kila kitu positively yes, but yes. kijana msafi najua wewe ni mtu busy so mm-hmm. kabla ni kuachilie mm-hmm. i loved filming here mm-hmm. i loved filming kwa hii site mm-hmm. i've loved kuona past hand ile kitu yote ume accomplish mm. na pia thank you kwa mwenyewe kwa kuacha tu filmie mm. hapa ndani may god bless them lakini kabla ni kuachilie maybe kuna kitu uliko unataka kuguzia hatujaguzia ama unataka kuambia watu nini najua mtandao pia penye wanaweza kupata mimi najua ni kijana msafi interior <laughs> lakini kama kuna zingine also feel free haya kuna client moja alini nilimwambia pay me 30k ningekuja tukistrike a deal at the end of the day you were going to minus unajua niambia nini mm. what if we don't agree ina maanisha kwamba klanda yuko sure na mimi ikifikia baga klanda na nitafuta na sema i'm going with kijana msafi other interior design ushanikulia research ushanikulia research umeona what i'm capable of mm. because tuko wengi kwenye kwenye game yes. so ikifikia baga klanda na sema ati what if we don't agree ni muambie pia mimi are you going to pay my time nime west are you going to pay my consultants nime kuoff your fuel ni mwa west we going to pay hizo ideas za kupatia hizo sketches hizo nini all the utakuwa utanilipa at the end of the day because that is my time i've wasted so mimi kama unataka kuwaka na mimi kama any client you wish to work with me nitakuja site yako there is nowhere that buyer to end despite the fact that we are based in Mombasa sisi tunaweza kuja all the way to Malaba all the way to Kajamkago in fact i'm very happy that watu wengi sana walinitag ako there alikuwa anatafuta interior design mm. i miss that job yani ya kuti ah mimi miss aje but i'm boss huko ni order lakini mm. watu wengi walinitag all over 50 people lakini sisi ni sema tu madam boss alikuwa busy yani nilikuwa na nilikuwa naomba Mungu anasema tu god <laughs> nipati opportunity mm. nipati opportunity hiyo 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 nyumba ya ako there hiyo ningepiga kazi moja clean sana lakini vile nili miss tu nili mdm nikariche Mm. Mikarij management mm. yake. Mm. <laughs> 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 Ni getting you 
alright. management yake yeah. lakini wakasema the boss is final. Yes. But ni sawa tu but uh, oh. ningepata opportunity yake. Yeah. And more are coming and greater ones. You know? More are coming. <laughs> Sijui bora na kwa emotional but ni sawa ningepata opportunity nilikuwa nimepata sio hiyo job ba sasa kwa emotional like it's so it's it's all right and you know more will come more will come na hopefully kwa more will come and i will be able to deliver I know it's madam boss and obviously it's a bad look at sana in tag look at look at it this way what if she ends up building another mansion amia What if she ends up coming up with something else, right? <laughs> you, you get what I mean? Eh? Yes, you get what I mean. Yes. And if it's not yours, it's not you. Yours. Yours. And if it's yours, it will find you. Yes. See you when. Definitely. All right, go on. Nisha pata high profile client when you many you many approach you are the government of mm-hmm. Kenya. So I'm hopefully that uh, na take a good move ni kona lawyer na everything. Hopefully that we can strike a deal. Hata mmoja kuna nipata mwenye ni high profile sana akasema and taku market nasema no no despite the fact that utani market i'm going to spend money to deliver your house ni mm. palace kubwa sana mm. lakini tuka agree kwamba not about marketing mm. but ndio tuta agree utafanyia ufanyio kazi lakini pia usimame mbele kama useme kila msafi interior design mambo this is the guy who did this house so ile kitu ni design kana jole club ambao atakuwa mimi mimi ni mtu niko extremely passionate na ikazi naweza kuende niko nina mind sana details nafikiri eh ngugi yako hapa ataangalia hata kama atapata makosa nitafurahia sana mm. because nafurahia kuona makosa sana sababu so, mimi mwenyewe before hata ni nini ni, hapa nilikuwa tayari nime go to every detail to make sure imetoka kitu clean yeah. and presentable mm. at the end of the day ndioniweza ku appeal to the international community i'm happy that uh, clans from the diaspora wananipigia simu sana i don't know why clans wako outside kenya wananipigia simu sana kushinda the inside kenya but ni hivyo hivyo i missed a job kuna jamaa alikuwa anajenga kwa our home homestead mm. jumbani nika miss your job sababu clan anasema si wewe ni kijana wa ongeri ume grow juice hapa ulikuja kukaa tier zero na tudanganya hapa mm. unaona nipatie mafundi wako nifanyie kazi nika nikajua kwamba a prophet is never accepted in his own hometown lakini itafika mahali penye these uh, nitajulikana better mm. na company yangu itajulikana ndio tuweze kufanya kazi all through we yes. are capable of taking a project from the architecture from the concept development to the build your concept to the build your architectural drawing to build sketches now the way we do it's mm-hmm. different sir i mwaka ni we want to 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 do it that way ndio wale ma architect when you are kwa game wajifundishe kwamba you can still be able to kupatia unajua ma architecture yangu kuambia oya hebu nipatie three floor plan ni choose ni wawili ama mmoja Kenya hii mm. wanasema lipia mm. but mimi ndio kuna capacity where i can be able to give you three floor plans uweze kuchagua the best na ni kwa advice where we going for this imefikia baka mahali sasa hivi for example kama kuna insecurity people na consider hata ku include safe house kwa nyumba where by kama kuna panic nini watu wanaingia those mm. things are in the US mm. you know panic kidogo sio risasi mm. imepigwa hapa watu waingie Market our build kutumia those concepts kwamba at the end of the day kitu kama hii itapatikana. Mm. At the end of the day hii nyumba itahitaji CCTV. Mm. Client akuniambia kwamba anataka CCTV but ni incorporate kwa system. So whoever mnyenda kufanya CCTV nyumba, mm. yani ata flow kila kitu ni meka yetu ni kufanya tu shi 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 alipwe. But at the end of the day ndio client kitaka kufanya hiyo ni ite because I know it better. Good. So my social media accounts ni kijana msafi interior design mm-hmm. niko kwa all social media. Yes. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube mimi post sana, LinkedIn niko, niko kwa Pinterest niko, kuna ma sites zingine za majua hata niko. Mm. Uh, in fact, so hizo hata kwa vile ziko best in the US and Australia si nini sana mm-hmm. Kenya, lakini na push content yangu pale because there are a thousand Kenyans living in the diaspora, living and working in the diaspora. Good. Who trust quality finishing? Ndio si class customer customer wengi mm. wenye wana trust professionalism yes. ama wanatambua wana professionalism lakini wale client wanatambua kwamba finishing nyumba ni finishing ndio unaweza jenga nyumba kubwa vizuri pako rangi nje lakini mtu akiingia anasema za mbona ukitafuta kijana msafi lakini mm. so nitafute mapema i'll walk you through that journey you can be able to agree at the end of the day is a process si eti kuja ulipate quotation na nimepata thousand class wanaambia how much did that house cost how much did that house cost mm. ya ya, ya, nini? Chavakali. ya chavakali. Yeah. Atai. we don't quote that way Our creativity is not confined kama product kwamba e ni 2.250 ml tunauza 
hapana our creativity wa ina ina, ina, ina kwa bald so kama nikupatia estimate ya chavakali uimire kwamba yako iko mranga itakuwa sema modo mani haiwezi haiwezi different places different, different value way. different distance Unaona? Yeah, yeah. the amount of money nda kuspend pale kwa logistics kutoa vitu Nairobi Mombasa it differ in one or the other mm. so tuna prefer tuna kuja site yako we walk you through the journey if client ako serious na walk through the journey na mpatia quotation tuna bargain na kupatia opportunity ya kutebo ya budget because that is also in the market mm. so so watu unafikia tu jamaa labda ni more expensive si more affordable si more approachable i give you opportunity kwamba unataka kufanyia finish hii nyumba Table your budget. Yes. Table your budget mm. I can be able to advise kwamba hapa mm. tutamiss hii lakini tutafanya hii tutamiss hii tutafanya hii. I've told you that nilienda kwa project nyingine mahali. Mm. Ni Marshall. Marshall client amejenga robots na 10 m anambia ako na na budget ya 3 m. Can make a low but we can be able to do something with this. Unaona? Yes. So one step leads to another. We also do project in phases. Kuna project tumefanya phase 1, phase 2. Na hatuja post tunangoja to the grand living mm. to post mm. because i believe you cannot be able to destroy something that you've not seen yes. so kama kuna mtu labda anataka ku destroy ama ku attack at kwa vile ameona kija msafa amepost hii mm. ukiona nimepost hii nimemaliza niko mbele yana hata ukuja kusema tu anataka ku ku destroy through this kuna kumi zenye hujaona kuna kumi zenye hujaona <laughs> kuna 20 zenye confuse them <laughs> confuse them like location uko nyeri yes. kumbe uko Mombasa kumbe uko Mombasa yeah so follow my instagram mm. uh, youtube yeah uh, and kindly subscribe to my youtube channel yes i love for you can be able to share and leave a comment mm. you at least you are arogari the mio ini part at least you can yeah. wanna come through yeah. watch you wanna come <laughs> see, see they are my people i know them <laughs> I know. Wow. Support, numbers. Support support. <laughs> Wanna come through, yeah. but shukran mm. even for making time. Mm. I know you're busy. Mm. I know you're held up so I don't take this time. Mm. Yenye ume make just for us to come here yeah. uh, for granted. God aku bless. Sana. Kaende kaende. V8 come through. <laughs> Kama ni dey ni dress na bi eh baba baba man you know kind of be it come through mm. zile desires that you can also in your heart that you want to ajui mm. may they find you Amen. zile prayers you make in silent Amen. may they be answered if Amen. it's according to god's will send you to funge kitu pale nyuma naona work hard it will pay off hapo chini naona dream big and never give up yeah so guys thank you man leo naweza wapati inspiration from here to timbuktu 24 i made a conscious decision we are going to guys lazima we challenge ourselves we are going to be aggressive we are going to go after those dreams yesterday my best friend one of my best friends was telling me doubt your doubts You see those doubts that you're having doubt them. You get what I'm saying? Eh? It's 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 I know we start uh, an ear to kill us psyched, eh? but there's just something about beginnings. You always know I have another chance to begin my life. Hii eh? homa man nimekataa kuisha. Wa nimekaa na hii kitu for one week sasa mpaka sana sema ah mimi haita niweka chini but I'm good it's just the sauti see at niko mbaya i'm good i'm good i'm good and i just want to say thank you so much for watching you are take home from today's conversation ni nini mmelan yani on the comment section go hard and let me know ni nini mmelan if you've not subscribed tafadhali do so this is the year we finish with a million subscribers like hey we either do it or we go home you know so guys subscribe it's free and also to our incredible partners that worked with us last year year the year before the particular sponsors of today's conversation kings developers limited you know them they are dealing with apartments great housing and also an, an important opportunity if you are going to invest with kings developers limited uko sasa hapa na kijana msafi interior get that apartment and get someone who can do crazy interior uko ndani lazima tu we focus yani you deserve all the good things in life so thank you so much for being our official partners 
of today's conversation and I always say they are building hapo Team Nigeria Prism Towers walk to their offices fifth floor while Zeni zile maswali zote mnataka about investing in a home and they do everything from hapa kidogo all the way to up there na hakuna pressure by the way it's also the year where msiji pressure sana but learn the important of small steps small steps by the time 2024 inaisha tutakuwa tumesonga sana so hata kama unatafuta nyumba na hauna hiyo pesa yote waulize flexible payment plan yao ni ga, ni gani like hey come through for my guy kijana msafi inti i know a lot of you are also watching this here at home in diaspora mpatieni yani i love this i love this for us even for let me be a bit selfish i love this for people when you walifanya set books man tulifanyia set book for 50 bob <laughs> <laughs> True story is a set books to ulikuwa unapiga show mdomo imekauka lakini unajua tu lazima ufanye so when i see this for my brothers and sisters in that industry back then it makes me really happy like it makes me happy so remember we have a theme here on inspire global no matter where you are no matter what your hustle is be proud of it there's no shame in hard work guys we can do this so i'm supporting you Channel yake itapiniwa hapo go subscribe guys tumsaidie na hizo algorithm pia lazima afikishe 100k subscribers lazima aende global ndio aelewe hii ni inspire global ebo nani kitu nimefanya hapo so nashinski tunafanya hii song lini amount wa jesus it's a rap oh damn it scola asante sana scola ko pale ananiambia lini unikumbuki <laughs> Sorry man I am here with my girl scholar Nico Hapa na our creative guy Muga and of course our head of production Robert the team that always does the magic it, it was not intentional I appreciate him and of course our incredible editors for making sure this episode gets you right on time see you kesho 10 a.m. bye the process one day your life is gonna change keep on believing. You will be better than before so trust the pro